y'all who have been missing my fishing related ASMR videos. showing them today. I, uh, have a lot less now than I used to. I just decided to keep some of my favorites. If I decided to start fishing again soon, which I have been considering, which I'll, I'll talk about in this video, then I would have in a lot of gaps in my, uh, in my fishing lures. I only have two spinners right now, I think. Yeah, I only have two spinning lures right now. I have this one. Look how pretty. If you're a dude watching this, you're probably like, I don't understand. But it has like this really pretty holographic. Here, let me see if I can get this lighting to pick it up, pick up on it better. It has this. It has this really pretty holographic to it. And I use these a lot. I had gotten them at Bass Pro. I had them in several different colors and I used them a lot. I caught some bass on them. I caught some other types of sunfish. A lot of little ones too. Not like big bass or anything, like smaller bass. And then the other spinner lure I have is this one. Ew. Was that dust? I think some dust went flying off it. I like the sound of that. It makes nice sounds. So yeah, this my other spinning lure. It's got this one here, and this little one here, and this fishy friend. Please don't, please don't let me hear myself. Uh-oh. Okay. We're good. That's fine. Alright. I also have this one. A lot of these, um... I mean, I, I, I didn't do as much fishing down here, so a lot of these are from when I was living in Tennessee. And so, uh, I think I might need to, if I was to be trying to fish more, like here in South Florida, I think I'd probably have to also figure out, like, I don't even plan on staying in South Florida too terribly much longer, hopefully. I don't know. But anyways, I would have to figure out if I decide to start fishing again more regularly, which lures are best in which areas and whatnot of wherever I was fishing. Because 
most of my collection is aimed at Tennessee fish. And again, like I said, I, I have a lot of gaps in my lore collection that I would need to fill in. I also have little cricket friend here. <laughs> He's cute. He looks like a little cricket. I do miss fishing sometimes, so um, I've been thinking lately of the possibility of getting back into fishing. I've also got this one. His little body moves like that. Swim, 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 swim. One of the reasons I've been considering getting back into fishing is to possibly be able to have access to a food source should I need it. There's been a lot of uncertainty with a lot of things and. I think it'd probably be a good skill set to maintain over time, just in case, you know. Uh, I don't think I'd want to eat any of the fish that I would be able to catch, like, here in this area, like, directly. I'd probably have to go out into the glades to feel comfortable eating any of the fish. <laughs> There's not much to say about him, other than he's a fish, with some blue and red, red belly, stripes, hooks, uh. Uh. <laughs> So anyways, I never really got into saltwater fishing. I've been saltwater fishing from like the intracoastal handful of times, but that's a different, that's like a separate license you have to buy for Florida. And I just, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't really been super keen on saltwater fishing. When I was younger, no, oh, this, this one, I think that was one of my first ones, honestly. I can't remember for sure, but I think he might be one of my first lures. If you can hear a little bit of noise, I hear that the uh, neighbor's sprinkler is turning on. Hopefully it won't be too loud or anything though. So anyways, uh, my grandpa was the first one to teach me how to fish when I was younger. My grandpa would take me fishing sometimes on the weekends with him. He taught me how to fish. This green little frond here. He used to have a lip on him, but his lip is no longer there. Honestly, I, I don't know how useful he is anymore, but I, I like him because he's green. See, so yeah, I used to go fishing when I was younger. And, uh, then I didn't fish for quite a while. And then back in, I think, 2014? 2013? 2013? 2014? What year was that? 2014. Yep, 2014. I'm sorry. <laughs> back in 2014, I started fishing again. fishing together a lot. We would typically go fishing a few times a week and it was a major activity that we enjoyed doing together. We did most of our fishing up in Tennessee. 
and uh, a little bit of fishing in Florida, but the majority of it up in Tennessee, I would say. And then when I broke up with him, I, I wasn't fishing as much anymore. Next, we have this pretty blue guy here. He's so pretty, look at him. Um, but since then, I have done some fishing. I went fishing, I went saltwater fishing actually with someone, which, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of. And then I also went fishing up in Jacksonville in a freshwater pond, and I caught a crappie, which I wasn't really expecting, and I was so excited. Crappie, crappie. I know they're pronounced crappie, but I I have to admit I'm I'm basically a child because when I see the word crap crappie, it looks like crappy, and then I giggle a little bit, and I don't feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I've also got this dude here. I like the sounds that these make. I've also gone fishing with my grandpa a few times. I should probably go fishing with my grandpa soon. I think he'd probably like that. <laughs> Especially uh, now that my grandma's no longer here as of recently, unfortunately. I should probably take him fishing. Then I've got this dude here. Some of the lures I have, I don't think it's really even deep enough to use them around here. If I do start fishing again, though, I have to have a man with me in case something goes wrong. Because if something goes wrong, I will not be okay. I will not mentally be okay. I will not emotionally be okay. And so I, I, I need a man with me while I'm fishing. <laughs> I also have this nice and colorful one here. We're getting towards the end, guys. Got this one and two more. This one says Crappy Max on the top. I know. I'm sorry. I'm... I, I'm, I'm ridiculous. I apologize. Okay, uh, if I did decide to start fishing again and try to have the fish for food, I would definitely have to have a man with me, and I would have to have them do the part that I don't even like to think about. The part between catching the fish and eating the fish, which I don't even want to say to be completely honest. I feel bad, like, just even killing bugs if I have to kill a bug, except mosquitoes. I've also got this one here has a wiggly waggly little tail. So we can swim, 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 swim. Yeah, I, uh, I like the idea of being able to catch my own food. I just, I would have to have someone else assist me after I catch it. I, I, I don't think I could do that part. I've had one person tell me that they would do that for me. And hopefully that deal will continue to stand forever.
it's like my prized possession as far as my lures go. Look at him wiggle. Look at his little body. Look at all that movement. I suppose also if I started fishing again, I would have more fishing videos to make. Some of my most viewed videos now on my YouTube channel since I removed my Reiki videos have been some of my fishing ones. And like I said earlier, I know that certain people still watch them and enjoy my old fishing videos and I've even had some people comment and tell me that they wish that I still made them. And so, here we are, y'all. I hope that you've enjoyed this fishy video. <laughs> I will consider if there are or other ones I can make, and if I get back to fishing in the future at some point, I'm sure I'll make a video with something to do with it. You know, it could be fun just to even walk around Bass Pro if I wanted to drive all the way to one. But I think that they play a lot of, like, loud music there, and I don't know how that would go. That could be a pretty fun video, though. Gas is really expensive right now, though, to be able to drive all that way. I don't know. It's something I could consider, I suppose, right? I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon.